Alright everybody, today we'll be talking about RBC pathologies. Uh, the most important thing is anemia. And what is anemia? Anemia is not enough healthy RBC in someone's blood. Okay, so let's talk about uh, RBC, uh, RBC composition. RBCs are made up of hemoglobin. Well, hemoglobin is actually made of heme and globin. It has two globin chains. In adults, they are alpha 2 and beta 2 and in newborns they are alpha 2 and gamma 2 newborns and this one is in adults and heme is made up of iron and protopore fire we'll talk about some pathology okay we'll start from here heme is made of iron and protopore fire what if we don't have iron if you don't have iron, we won't make enough heme, we won't make enough hemoglobin, and we'll get anemia. Okay, so if you don't have iron, you probably can get iron deficiency anemia. Or we can get anemia of chronic disease. All right. Protoporphyrin, same goes here, if you have less protoporphyrin, if you don't make enough protoporphyrin, if there's any dysfunction with protoporphyrin, then a mutation, we won't make heme, we won't make hemoglobin, we won't make healthy RBCs. If anything goes wrong with protoporphyrin, a defect in protoporphyrin, we call it sidroplastic anemia. Okay, move up to next. We, okay, we have globin here. It has two alpha, alpha chain and two beta chains, and newborn has two alpha and two gamma chain. What if there is something wrong with globin? Not enough hemoglobin, not healthy RBCs. The problem which are related to globin chains, there are two. The one is thalassemia. This problem can be with the alpha chain or it can be with the beta chain of globin. The other one we have is sickle cell anemia. What happens in sickle cell anemia, the beta chain is get replaced by a mutant S. So it's HBS. Again, So this is HPS, we call it HPS, sickle cell anemia. So pretty much this, uh, this uh, pretty much covered all the anemias here. And then one more thing, when we when RBCs are RBCs are coming from here we have stem cells, and then we get erythroblasts, and from erythroblasts we eventually make red blood cells. For RBC synthesis, we need vitamin B12 and folic acid. If we don't have enough vitamin B12 or folic acid, then it causes DNA impairment. And the problem with DNA impairment, we call it megaloblastic. Anemias, and there are two of them: vitamin B12 deficiency and folic acid. In vitamin B12 deficiency, we still see some neurological symptoms. In folic acid, there are no neurological symptoms. And then, calling from the shape of the RBCs, RBCs are biconcave. And the, there are some proteins which hold this shape. We, ca uh, we call them tethering proteins or structural proteins of RBC. If something goes wrong with, the, with this protein or they get mutated, the red blood cell is no more of this shape. It gets into more elliptical. 
And the problem with this put the, if uh, if you have any problem with this protein, we call it hereditary spherocytosis. Uh, let's see. This is the blood vessels, and there is an RBC in blood. But there are other monsters in the blood vessels too. I mean, they are bad. So RBC needs to protect himself from those monsters. They are big monsters, in there. They are free radicals. And complements. They're the big monsters. They can eat up RBC. They can damage RBC. To protect red blood cell from free radicals, RBC has G6PD. If RBC is deficient in this enzyme, the problem we get is called G6PD deficiency. Okay, pretty much clear. And to protect RBC from complement, it has a decay accelerating factor. If this is not there, then the problem that it gets, we call it parasismal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. Up this this is all about red blood cell pathology. If you have any questions and you need more details, please do comment below and we will try to put more video on details on RBC pathologies.